Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site, BettingAngle.us, a free site. Let's talk some baseball, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Today is April the 23rd. Baseball has been added for a few weeks. We're looking to grab bargains right here in the futures market. My goal um, isn't necessarily to pick the winner of the American League or the winner of the World Series. All I'm trying to do is to grab great odds. So later, if these teams make the playoffs, I can then uh, engage in some strategy, bet against them, uh, make a profit if either side wins uh, with the goal of trying to get as close to the American League title as I can before cashing out with a profit. So, I'm not interested in betting on every team. The opportunity has to be right. I believe the opportunity is right, right now with the Kansas City Royals. Understand, nobody thinks that highly of this team. But, Royal pitching is underrated. Folks, as I make this video, the runs against the Royals per game this season sits at 3.3 runs per game. In other words, the Royals have elite pitching. I agree. Their road record's troubling. Nine games, they're four and five on the road, right? A lot of games at home, their record might be a little bit inflated. But with this pitching and with the odds I'm getting, 34 to 1, you heard right, 34 to 1 on the Royals simply to win the American League. I like this play. Understand at 34 to 1, all I need is for the Royals to make the playoffs. And then I can take the team that's against them to eat into some of these expected winnings. Um, if the Royals were to lose in that playoff series, I would probably net a profit. Right? If the Royals win that playoff series, I have enough here in terms of leverage, having gotten 34 to 1, to decide what to do in that second round. The other team that I'm grabbing right here, and you're getting them at 14 to 1, even though, like the Royals, they only have given up 3.3 runs per game, are the Cleveland Guardians. Right? The Guardians are hot right now, no doubt about it, but there are certain things that look systemic here. The Guardians against left hand pitching are 6 and 0. Oh. Right, the Guardians on the road. And to me, road record is a big tip off to how good a team is. Are ten and three on the road. Understand the Guardians also are six and three at home. Winning records on the road and at home. Right? You're getting them right now at fourteen to one to win the American League. Right? So I'm dipping my foot in the water here. You know, you want to grab quality teams before the public realizes how good they are. Before, of course, the lines drop to below 10 to 1. Because your goal here is getting leverage. Right? Let's also talk about other things we want to keep in mind here. Against right-hand pitching. And if you're someone who bets day-to-day, -day, you want to figure out if the lineup does well against right-hand pitching or left-hand pitching. Against right-hand pitching, the Atlanta Braves, a team that's been on a run the last few years. Right? This shouldn't be a surprise team to anyone. The Atlanta Braves are 10-3 and three on the year. Right? That's something to look at. Also, the Baltimore Orioles against right-hand pitching are 11-3. and three on the year right so just keep these things in mind uh, but in terms of the futures plays I'm making right here 
you know, I'm trying to swing for the fences. 34 to 1 to win not the World Series, just the American League. Sounds great to me on a team that's only giving up 3.3 runs per game. That's the Kansas City Royals. I know they're young. Right? Let's get real, too. Um, team age starts to matter in the postseason. Right? I know they're young. Understand, too, young teams will get into slumps. Right? In other words, vets understand it's a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, young teams will panic. Players are insecure. They don't have the experience. They're worried about being demoted to triple and double A. Right? You know, they don't have the relationship with the press that older, hardened vets have. I expect turbulence with Kansas City. But we're a few weeks now into the season. 3.3 runs against, that's exemplary, folks. You need to understand. The team's not getting lucky. The team has talent on the mound. As for Cleveland, they check all the boxes for me. Right? Love the odds 14 to 1 to win the American League. Love the pitching 3.3 runs against. Love their record against left hand pitching. Right? Love the fact that they have winning records both on the road and at home, as well as the fact that they have one of the best records in baseball but yet they've played most of their games on the road. <laughs> Sooner or later, things are going to even out. They'll have an opportunity to show their home fans how good they are. I like them here at 14-1. to 1. Um, Keep in mind, it's April 23rd. We're not out of the first month. Understand, when you lock in a 34-1 to 1 or a 14-1, to 1, if the team continues performing, then that's a huge endowment that you have versus the rest of the league, assuming your team can make the playoffs or at least be in playoff contention in the closing days of the regular season. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this YouTube video. Let me also point out too, um, you know, I have a bet on the Dodgers. I was wrong on Otani. It looks like he was actually defrauded, and it, more importantly, it looks like the bets weren't on baseball. So he'll be given some latitude, right? Even if there is some culpability. Let me also point out, too, doesn't look like there is. There are text messages that favor Otani. Uh, I'm still bullish on the Dodgers, but they're off to a sluggish start. Let's acknowledge it here. Um, I believe I have money on the Braves. They're a bellwether team. Understand, particularly when you see the Braves' record against right-hand uh, pitching. Understand, these favored teams that everyone loves, the odds on them tighten as the season progresses. You might not be able to get the Braves at this price later in the season. Think it through. Let me hear your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Don't be afraid to name a team that you want people to know about. Right? I understand there's some other teams out there, the Yankees, for example, the Milwaukee Brewers, for example, that have a lot of people excited. Uh, if you're one of those people, tell us about it in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.